Hey everyone, this is Geepan here, Brandon guys, with another one of my videos, and this time we're gonna do a little bit of a peek into, you know, me growing up, basically. When I was growing up as a kid, my dad, who, him, when he grew up, he is a huge Godzilla fan. He watched all the Showa era Godzilla movies, and then some, when he was growing up. And when I was born, and my sister was born, he introduced those Godzilla movies to us, and when the 90s, more the 90s rolled into, we got to watch the Heisei era Godzilla movies, and we really enjoyed them a lot. And my dad is still a huge Godzilla fan to this day, so is my sister, and even my youngest sister right now, she became a Godzilla fan as well. And, uh, which, Godzilla Minus One, absolutely fucking amazing movie. We all, we all of us loved it. And I just, I believe it came, became uh, available on Netflix right now, so I do recommend go watch it. So, we, you know, we, I would play the games, we watch the movies, all that Danny stuff. And uh, at Anime Boston in 2015, there was a bit of a there was, there was a chance meeting basically. So they announced two key guests during the convention: one Haru Nakajima and Akira Takarada. Now, if you are not a Godzilla fan, you might not know who these names are. If you are, though, then you can kind of figure out where I'm coming here. Haru Nakajima is the original Godzilla suit actor. He did it all back in the day. Blood, sweat, and tears, basically. A lot of sweat. I'm not even gonna lie. He said it was hot in that suit, <laughs> basically. And Akira Takarado is one of the uh, actors that was featured in a lot of Godzilla movies as well. He wasn't the suit actor, but he was an actor actor. So uh, with that, I we got I got to talk to both of them and meet them. And I was in, I was uh, had the press badge at the time. And so we were all, all of us press were asking them questions. We were all literally having like a fanboy moment there too. And I, it was so hard for me to control, like you know, just be like, oh God, oh God, I'm, I get to meet them. And I had the chance to actually go to their booth in the dealer's room and got to talk with them real quick and told them that, hey, you know, I my, my dad grew up watching Godzilla movies and, you know, he showed us these and I grew up watching them too. And I was really thankful and grateful for their works in the movies. Now with that, here's here's a cool thing. I got two items in my collection that I, I deem it basically uh, some of my most valuable Godzilla memorabilia. And for very good reason. So the first one is Haru Nakajima's monster photo book. They uh, Both of them were actually selling them there at the convention. This was only released in Japan, and I believe it's out of print, but essentially this is behind the scenes photos of them making Godzilla movies. And not even Godzilla movies, all the like the Toho movies basically. So if I were to look in the book here, and I'm trying not to like rip the book, we got Godzilla versus the Smog Monster. Oh, son of Godzilla and something else, I think. Uh, oh, the, the T-Rex thing and Angulus and Godzilla and Baby Godzilla. Oh, hey, uh, King Kong and Mecha and the uh, Mecha Kong and all that dandy stuff. So all these things, movies, and not even just the Godzilla movies. I'm trying to look at that. There was actually, it was in here. Oh, here we go. This is one of my dad's actual favorite films is The Mysterians. And it's all in here and it's absolutely fantastic. And I'm trying not to, you know, ruin it too much basically or read it too much but I, I occasionally go through the book and seeing all these photos and they look amazing by the way but here's the thing so when i open it up i get an autograph but whose autograph you might be asking well it is Har haru nakajima's autograph the original godzilla suit actor this is and sadly he passed away in 2017 i believe and that i I, I, I was extremely grateful to meet him and got to talk to him about Godzilla. And I, my dad, I, when I told my dad this, he was like, it was like, holy shit, that's awesome. You know, like, and this is, this is going to be in my collection till the day I die. And even then I'll be like, when I pass it on, I'd be like, do not sell this. This is a collector's item. And this is my, like essentially my, for my own personal vault here. And honestly, I do believe if you find it, I do recommend it. But the, I believe they go on average like a hundred dollars. But I'm not. I'm not never gonna sell this. Even if you give me offers, I'm like, no, no. This is this is for me. Like even they even have it right there. Two James Godzilla. Next up, um, Akira uh, Takarada. His uh, his way of doing autographs was actually really interesting. I'll show you. This is the autograph I got from him. Full on calligraphy moment here, basically, and. 
the cool part is that not only did he, you know, full on brush ink and everything, we, I also, we, it also has his stamp. And I have not opened this up since 2015. Like, there's only one thing of tape in there holding it together, basically. And I've kept it like this, you know, for almost 10 years now. Honestly, this is, you know, being Godzilla fan, these are two, uh, two of my most precious items, basically. And whenever, you know, I still love to enjoy watching even some of the old films, you know, not even just Godzilla films, you know. I watched Batango, that was interesting. Uh, Mysterian's great movie, you know. Rodan, I enjoyed Rodan. And like, but, and even Mothra had its own movies too. But uh, these are some of my most precious things that I have growing up. And, you know, it, it's crazy. Like, when I, when I do eventually, hopefully when I find someone and start a family, I'll, I'll be, be like, hey, I hope you, you're gonna hope you love Godzilla movies. Because guess what? And it's it's just really cool just seeing all these images like hell, hell Godzilla vs. the Seas Monster, the Erebeth? I always have a hard time. Don't ask me what this giant tarantula thing is from Son of Godzilla. I was it featured in Son of Godzilla? No, it was on the was it No it was. It no, it was featured in Son of Godzilla. And then but no, these these this were interesting. So like even we got right here of you know of a cat of like everyone on the set, you know, going through I, I find this, you know, totally, you know, and it, it, it's just crazy going through it. I'm really happy that I, I had the chance to meet them. So, and I, I honestly, I, I, I want to, I would love to put this in a frame, but at the same time, you know, I'll just keep it, I'll just keep it, you know, put it probably in a plastic wrap at least, you know, to help protect it from the elements. But yeah, those are my two of my most uh, top favorite and most valuable Godzilla memorabilia that I have. Book and the autograph, those are going to be with me, you know, for years to come. And then I will cherish them. And I just I just want to say that I, you know, Akira Takarada, he sadly passed away, I believe it was 2022. I'm just really happy that I had the chance to talk to meet them and talk with them about Godzilla and and you know had a uh, their autographs as well you know so um you know I'm, I'm very glad and anime boston you know you guys are amazing for having having them there back in 2015 but either way i guess that, that, that those are those are some of my most uh uh my uh top memorabilia that i have of godzilla and you know uh, other people out there that might have the same thing too or might have something even crazier but that's it for this video. Post down in the comment box, what is your top memor uh, Godzilla memorabilia? Or did you also have the chance to meet the two actors as well? Uh, other than that, uh, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I do stream weekly on Twitch and feel free to join my Discord. I hope you guys have an awesome time out there. Keep being awesome, have a great weekend, and I'm gonna watch some Godzilla movies, so. But first time, I wanna watch the Mysterians again. But this is Geeky Band here. I'm out, stay geeky, my friends.